welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday, Sunday evening, and um, I've just been sat, you know, with my uh, with my cup of tea. Um, my fairy lights on. I got a really bought a really cozy blanket from um, TK Maxx uh, the other day. Got my candle burning over there. I'm basically just I'm living my best autumn life, and I thought, you know what, I'm. I'm just going weekly vlog. I don't know what that's got to do with me being cosy, but I love this year for the first time in my life. Well, not my life, that's a bit of an over-exaggeration. For the first time since I was like 14, I just have time. I have time to just watch TV, watch vlogs, just cook everything. And um, I've been really enjoying watching weekly vlogs like Ellie Darby's vlog and Fabulous Hannah's vlogs and everything. And um, I know I'm in Berlin, not as cosy as the UK, but also everything here is a bit less of a shambles um, than the UK at the moment. So I can still like go out and meet people and there's not all these crazy restrictions going on yet. Oh, touch wood. But yeah, and this week is a really chill week for me. Um, I think you guys probably all think that I like literally am, you know, zipping around everywhere all the time and like always have plans i'm always out on the go but um i'm also just really taking a bit of time for myself at the moment i've been cooking loads and i've been trying to like get some stuff in my room to make it even cozier and i just really wanted to vlog this week like it's gonna be a really chill vlog i think you should go and grab yourself a cup of tea i think you should grab yourself some biscuits i think you should get yourself a blanket like the one that i'm currently got um basically get yourself in this setup wait well no because if you're watching it when this goes out it'll be like 11 in the morning but you know what i mean but anyway i thought i'd start the vlog tonight because because why not like why why not um and i'm just gonna it's gonna be really chatty so if you're not in the mood for a chatty vlog i would click off but it's gonna be really chatty really chilled as of right now i have like literally zero plans until friday i will definitely be making some plans at some point this week um and yeah i have a couple of things on my list of uh like berlin things that i want to do that I haven't yet ticked off so maybe i can do some of those this week too um but the weather here in berlin this week is still a little bit warm which is actually really annoying me because it's been really cold this weekend and uh, now it's going right back up to 20 degrees again so it won't really be a cozy autumn vlog um i've been loving wearing jumpers and cardigans the last few days Looks like we're going to be back to the tank tops for a couple of days, which is so annoying. But you'll be getting plenty of cosy autumn content from me. Who are we kidding? Anyway, I'm going to go to um, turn this off because I've been talking for three minutes. Um, but I'm really excited for this vlog. I have a good feeling about this vlog. I have a good feeling about this week. I am just loving the cosy vibes. I'm just loving being by myself. Obviously, like I, I spend like I was with people all day today. Um, but I love these evenings by myself, I really do. You know, I complain that I'm single, but am I really doing anything to change it or do I just really love my own company a bit too much? Find out on um, today's episode of uh, Eve is more forever alone than Bridget Jones ever was and Bridget Jones is basically a scam because she actually ends up getting a really nice guy and a baby and a really nice apartment. So anyway, this has been a four minute long vlog clip. I hope you're already enjoying this vlog. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Wow. Today is Monday, I've just done the dishwasher, made myself a cup of coffee, um, I've just got dressed as well, literally wearing like the most chilled outfit today because I'm working from home, I'm also waiting for like four or five parcels, some of which I can't track because they're coming from home and I had such a debacle with the parcels last week that I just don't trust the delivery service to deliver them, uh, so I'm staying at home all day so that they so the chance of me being able to get them are better. 
Um, I'm working from home today as well, but I'm going to spend this morning because it's only just gone nine o'clock. It's not even nine o'clock. Um, uh, doing my admin, trying to figure out what to do for the second half of my year abroad. I'm still not sure if Argentina is the safest bet at the moment, whether it'd be safer to stay in Europe, I don't know. So I need to just have a look around and I need to do my YouTube emails. I need to do a few different things. So that is the plan. Um, I'm not gonna vlog too much of my day because I've already done a couple of working from home vlogs, but um, I'll pick you up next time something interesting happens. <laughs> um, I've also just updated my Spotify playlist. If anyone would like to um, go and listen to them, honestly, they're not like carefully curated or anything. They're literally, I have like my monthly playlists, which are just completely loads of random things. But I do also have a couple of vibey playlists. I like my rainy days playlist. I'd also recommend my feel good Friday. This is my favorite playlist ever. Um, and yeah, I do have some good ones, to be honest, but most of them are quite personal, but at least they look pretty, you know? Also recommend Coffee Shop. That's also nice. Um, gin playlist is definitely probably not one I would recommend unless you want to cry. Pre's playlist I would recommend if we weren't in the middle of a pandemic. And I would definitely recommend this one. This is also a leap as playlists go. But yeah, basically. Oh, and of course I would recommend this one too. <laughs> What you say can make or break my day, baby. What you say can make or break my day. It's honestly baffling today because it's literally like 20 degrees, um, but I am literally sat here in a scarf and a cardigan and with a blanket on me because I'm that cold. I tried to sit at my desk, but I'm just freezing. Like, I don't know why the apartment is so cold, but I'm just translating an article at the moment, having a cup of tea. I've got a lovely autumn acoustic playlist on from Spotify. Um, trying to listen to more new music and yeah, still no parcels though. I want to go outside. I want to go to a coffee shop to be honest, but um, I really don't want to miss these parcels. So struggle is real. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm just taking my lunch break, right? I literally, the saddest. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've been watching German Love Island and then meeting the families. <laughs> Catch me actually crying. I don't cry at TV shows, but you know you're emotionally invested when their family comes on the screen and you literally cry. To be honest, I really miss my family as well. So maybe it's that. But, but also I can talk to my parents and stuff, you know? Um, whereas I suppose they haven't seen them for months, but... We love to see me crying by myself in the apartment on my lunch break. So I just got a parcel from my mother, um, which is actually so nice. Um, like, I am so appreciative that she's done this because it cost, it must have cost so much money to send it. But there's a couple of things in here that I left at home that I've kind of needed that I've not had. Um, why am I so out of breath? I literally just carried it up two flights of stairs. Am I okay? <laughs> Ignore the soup bowl on the side. I just had some soup for lunch. So it's really good that she sent it in a box. I think I'm gonna have to um, ship a load of my stuff home because the plan was for my mom to come and drive here and she was gonna do a road trip with her friend and they were gonna come and stay for a bit. But I think we all know that um, either England or Germany will be a risk area at Christmas. And so the chance of them being able to come over without having to drive through a quarantine country or whatever. She might fly over and we might both go into quarantine for 14 days, but basically we don't know what's happening. But let's see what is in the package. Oh, bless her, she's put it in like packing chips and everything. Um, this parcel contains 100% biodegradable packing chips made of plant-based starch material. Simply add water, water, water and they dissolve. Well, that'll be interesting to put on the blog. Oh, bless her. Okay, this is such a niche thing, right? But I said that I really, really wanted um, a dressing gown here and I've been looking for like a sort of waffle one, just like a really light one because I've got a big fluffy one at home. Um, but I wanted like a lighter one that I can wear like a jumper underneath and then this on top. And she bought me one. I've been looking for them all over and that's so sweet of her. Oh my God, and she also sent me she knows me so well. She also sent me a bar of dough milk and um, some minstrels, which is dangerous, but also so needed because dairy milk is just like unmatched. 
Oh, bless her. She's also sent me an absolute load of tea, which is so needed because I literally have no tea with me anymore. I've got like 20 tea bags left and the tea here is not as good. So thank you, Louise. You want a gem? She also sent me the most recent copy of The New Yorker. This woman, this woman. Oh my gosh, you're actually kidding me. This is literally like Christmas. I'm not even being funny. She also sent me more teas as reindeers. These are literally my favorite chocolates ever. I'm not a big sweet tooth person, but I absolutely love these. Like, oh my God, I, I want to cry because I actually really miss my fam like this week. And I'm literally sat here like emotional. I think it's because I just watched Love Island, but it also sent me my favorite face wash because they don't sell it here. What a gem. And also some iron proof and paracetamol because it costs so much here. You guys, if you've watched my things I dislike about Germany video, you will know. <laughs> it's like a bloody lucky dip of all of these packing things, you know? Oh, she's also sent me some pseudocreme. What a legend. That's also really expensive here. And some squash. I've not had squash in ages. I'm going to keep this though for when I inevitably get cold or something because hot squash when you have a cold is like... That is the one, you know? And that is everything in there. Thank you so much, Mom, if you're watching. Of course, I would have sent you a message to say thank you, but it's really sweet when your parents, like, think of you like that, and it must have cost her so much money to send this over. So I am so, so grateful, and that has really made my day. Right, okay, let's give this a go. I'm I'm really skeptical about this, but we'll give it a, we'll give it a shot. Oh my God, are you serious? No, they actually do just dissolve, look. Oh my God, why is that so entertaining, please? I'm sorry, but this has honestly been the most fun experience. What the actual hell? Like, they have just disappeared. Um, I've also ordered a Himalayan salt lamp. It was on offer on Amazon, and a lot of people have told me that if you want your room to be cozy and like to help you sleep, that these are really good so um i bought this because i realized that i know that i'm not here for too long but my room just felt really cold and like i feel like in the winter months when it starts to get darker and stuff i want to make sure that this feels like a really cozy room because i obviously i'm spending more time by myself than i normally would because like I'm in another country and all my friends are at home. But um, so everyone recommended that I got um, a yeah Himalayan salt lamp and oh no I ripped it and uh, I saw it in fabulous Hannah's vlog as well and that was what tipped me over at the edge. I swear I need to stop watching YouTube because honestly that like the re all of my money goes on things that I see on YouTube, which shows that influencer marketing works. But also not good <laughs> oh my god there is literally no way i can take that home with me do you know i didn't think it would weigh that much i don't know how much i thought it would weigh but i didn't think it would weigh that much either that or i'm gonna have to ship things home and you know how expensive it is to ship things um but it's come with some bulbs as well so let's turn it on okay so this is it i'm actually obsessed with it it looks gorgeous for one and I can imagine at night, I'll show you what it looks like later, but also you turn it on with this and off with this little thing and then you can sort of press it and uh, dim or sort of lighten it up depending on what mood you're in. But I love that, that's way more fun than a normal lamp, you're cancelled mate. <laughs> okay so I finished work for the day and now I'm off to do something very boring, I'm off to go and do a quick food shop leaving the lights on and um also to return an absolutely awful amount of diet of coke bottles like it is actually really bad basically you return them here and you get a bit of money back and then you get money off the shop and i'm interested to see how much money i'm gonna get back because there are lots of bottles so yeah i'm gonna go take half the rubbish out and do that so i'll see you when i get back there's no point in me vlogging this because i'm literally just going to throw some bottles away so do i run into I mean, it's really the not that only. not that unlikely because you live down the road. But um, staring at the flowers. Staring at you were just staring at the flowers, and I was very confused, thinking like, who is that, and why is she staring so intently at the flowers? And uh, and now you're staring at this flower. Could it be? Is that there's quite a large selection of flowers? That's plain flower. <laughs> it's, so is that right? Small one. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't want <laughs> something huge because. <laughs> 
right i'm back um i'm gonna cook dinner before i do a cook with me because i love watching people cook not like a really really long one just a quick explanation of the recipe sorry about breath just ran up the stairs basically but it's a it's called garlic chicken and rice soup it's from the pinch of nom everyday like recipe book um i won't show you like all the recipes in it obviously because then that would literally be like kind of defeating the point of the recipe book but this one is yummy and i already had like i literally had everything i only needed tarragon i think was the only thing i didn't have in stock in the kitchen of eve so uh yeah i'm gonna cook that now and uh i also got a surprise delivery i'm not sure what it is so today's a day of deliveries i promise it will stop after this oh how exciting it's um ruby's academic planner oh ruby Ruby, this is honestly gorgeous. Look how pretty this is. Oh, I love, oh, I love this. Do you know what? That is literally the perfect planner. Ruby, thank you so much for sending me this. This is literally gorgeous. Um, if you guys want to get your hands on one, then I'm maybe they're still in stock. I'm not sure if they're still in stock, but this is literally stunning. This is perfect. Do you know what? I'm going to be using this every day. Um, and yeah, it, oh look, you can even get like messages, notes, thanks Ruby. So proud of all of my amazing friends doing all these amazing things. So I decided to do this recipe because I had like loads of leftovers of things that I need to use up and this literally uses all of it. So you need a chicken breast, salt and pepper, um, some chicken stock, tarragon, um, thyme, some celery, garlic, it says three cloves, so I'm going to put in like six because you know how that be. Onions and a head of cauliflower, and yeah, let's get going. Okay, so I've roughly chopped, I ended up doing five cloves of garlic, it says three, but I've done five. Um, two onions and some celery, and you do literally just need to roughly chop it because you're blitzing it anyway because it's a soup. And also 300 grams of cauliflower floret. I really don't like cauliflower, so... I'm surprised that I can manage to get it into the soup, but now we basically have to put all of this in a pan and saute it for five minutes. So I've just added the tarragon, the thyme, and salt, and the pepper, and you've just got to stir that all in basically, and then you have to add the chicken stock. So you need to add a litre, so I'm doing it in two, um, in two, what, 5.5 litre goes basically. <laughs> And then I have added the cauliflower and the chicken and then you basically just put it like to simmer for 40 minutes with a lid on. So during that time I'm going to clean up the chaos so that I can just eat it and enjoy it when it's done, you know. And because I only had a soup for dinner, I'm just having a quick snack of hummus and these lentil chips, which are the best things in the world. I'm just going to have a few to tide me over and also because I'm having soup for dinner again, which I didn't really realise this is needed, you know. <laughs> Okay, so I've removed the chicken from the from the soup and now you have to blitz it, add a little bit more water and blitz it. I'm not going to add too much water because I prefer my soup thick but we'll see how it goes. Okay, that is all blitz. Now I literally just have to add 100 grams of rice it says. So I need to like maybe, yeah, about here. Um, and uh, then just let it cook for another 15 minutes basically. So basically I've shredded the chicken and like stirred it in and it honestly looks so good. It's just like a really warm, like hearty, healthy sort of soup. And this is freezeable as well. So when it's cooled down, I'm gonna put it into um, put top wet tubs and that means I can just have it at any time. Like literally all you have to do is defrost it and then reheat it. But this is my bowl for this evening. It literally looks so good. I'm going out later. Um, so I've had a bit more rice because I'm going for drinks. So I need to line my stomach, but yeah i'm really excited to try this um first off how lush is the light from that himalayan salt lamp when i've got my fairy lights up it's going to be a straight vibe second this shit is amazing honestly if you are poorly i'm not even poorly but i imagine if you were poorly this would be like actually just like soul food it is insane it's so yummy um absolutely zero complaints here i'm so proud of myself and it was so easy to make as well so we love that 
I'm just about to bring my mom. I've been watching a love. Basically, there's this German YouTuber that like reacts to Love Island, German Love Island. So I've been watching that because I've not really spoken much German today, and I'm going out with English-speaking people tonight. So basically, just really haven't done any German all today. But yeah, cheers to that. Not me getting pied by my own mother. We love that. Welcome to the EE voicemail. Someone else who, it's not that I didn't appreciate my mom growing up, of course I appreciated her. Um, it's more just like, as I've gotten older, I feel like we get on better. I never used to get on with my mom or like with my sister. And now I'm away and I don't live with them all the time. We get on so well and like, it just makes me sad now. Cause I'm like, I wish we could have just got on well the whole time you know um but yeah well now we're not getting on so well because she's not answering my phone call gotta ring the home phone instead oh one minute let me turn the music down so i'm just about to go out now um my outfit is literally like practical uh, and i've really not put any makeup on because we're only going to a bar so it's not like that deep um but my shoes are from Veja, is that how you pronounce it? And I've not even put them on properly, so we love that. They're a bit old now, to be honest, but they go with everything. And then my jeans are from Zara. This is from Primark. Um, coat is from Pull and Bear. And this is just like, it, like the outfit in itself does not really match, but it does the job for just going out for a little bit. Something about it doesn't quite funk with me, but it's comfortable and it's cozy, so we love that. <laughs> The soup saga continues. I've made three really, really decent portions of it actually, which I'm just going to leave to like cool down on the side while I go out. Two of which I'm going to keep in the fridge because I'm definitely going to eat them this week. And then that one is going to be like my emergency soup ration for if I'm ever sick, then I can just heat it up and bam, I'll be cured. Rest your head upon my shoulder. But I'll be Good morning everybody, so it's Tuesday today. We ended up going out, I didn't stay too late because, well I had, all I had was a glass of wine and I think two g and -Ts, right, which normal Eve, uni Eve, that would literally be like pre-drinks, right? And I was so tipsy, like I was really like tipsy bordering on drunk. Um, But also today basically in Berlin, there were like, um transport strikes so basically and there are no buses running there are no ubans running i wrote an article on it yesterday so like i feel like i know everything about it basically um but there are no there's nothing running basically so i'm working from home today anyway um but yeah it just made me laugh um because i remember being sat at the bar like i've got to go because i wanted to get the last bus before the strike started because i didn't want to have to get an uber and i just got it like i literally just got the bus um, I do need to stop doing that though because honestly I just feel like it's not even safe me going home at night by myself like that but anyway I did it last night so yeah I'm now in bed obviously um, I've got my cup of tea here um, this lamp was the best thing I've ever bought I swear to god it makes me feel so warm and fuzzy inside um, and I'm just gonna watch the Love Island final because it was last night and I didn't speak barely any German yesterday so today I need to like at least listen to some podcasts and stuff in German. Um, it's currently like half eight, so um, I don't start work till 11. And yeah, I've got a webinar today for this migration reporting thing that I'm doing. And I also, I'm going to see my friend for coffee because she's moving back home. Um, so it's her last week here. Um, and yeah, that's basically, literally today is gonna be such an uneventful day. Um, but that doesn't bother me because I love uneventful days, so. Just to hold you, cause I love to spend time with such... We've received higher and higher numbers of refugees. Um, it was able to cope up to a certain extent, but once the numbers got past that, uh, the process... Hi lovely, so I've just finished um, work for today. Um, I managed to get my article finished that I've been working on for ages, and I also managed to do another article about Trump, and Trump's actually... For, like his granddad was from Germany, so we we're just talking about how basically all of the residents of the town like hate him. It's quite funny. And I also did that webinar and I also did a word of the day. So it's been relatively productive. I was supposed to be meeting my friend Annie for coffee at 5.30, but she's now postponed to six, which is fine. So I'm gonna tidy my room and I'm also going to go and get that Billy Joel vinyl because 
I just need to. And I'm also going to set up my fairy lights. I ordered three sets, right? And the first set that I ordered, which I said weren't good yesterday, are actually the best ones. I've tried with the curtain thing. It's just not going to happen without me either pulling the curtain rail down or injuring myself or both. So I've decided to put them around my door, like the door in between mine and my roommate's flatmate's room. So I'll show you what that looks like later when it's all dark and cosy. But the sun sets here at like six now, so that's great, but yes. Uh, this is my outfit. It's literally so boring. It's just this um, sort of plain knit jumper from Primark and then the same jeans that I was wearing yesterday from Zara because I am literally, and I cannot stress this to you enough, going to a cafe which is there, like literally there. So there's not really much point in me getting all dressed up because I'm going to come back and put my PJs right on. So. Time. My vision's too far to mention, so I'll just ask this simple question. These five words are, can I call you mine? Hi, it's my eyes. I'm here with Annie and it's your last night in Berlin, so we came to get Vietnamese food. And yeah, are you sad to be leaving? Yeah, so sad. So sad. Um, <laughs> but you've had a good time, right? So, Definitely. all good, see? <laughs> OMG, guys. OMG, OMG. The moment has arrived. For me to open this damn parcel if you guys watch my instagram story you will know the saga that i have had trying to get this vinyl the only reason i bought it here and not in england i know that i don't have a vinyl player with me here is because the record's like a really rare one and the guy who sells it lives in germany so it costs like six times less to get it shipped here um but then it got sent back because the guy said that the delivery guy said that i had refused to accept the vinyl so then he had to send it again and this time I finally got it. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm so excited about this. This is the cover. Um, it's River of Dreams by Billy Joel. Not my favorite Billy Joel album, but my favorite, one of my favorite Billy Joel covers. And the vinyl itself is literally like gorgeous. It's like this bright red color. So this is the back. Um, oh my God, I'm so excited about this. I literally could cry. Oh my god, honey. Sorry, I'm trying not to like... Look at it! Look at it! Oh, you can see my fairy lights as well, but... Oh my god! Oh, I'm so excited about this. Oh, I could actually cry. Ah, yay! <laughs> I've been wanting a, like a rare one. Most of the ones I've got, I've got a couple of first editions. Um, I've got a first edition turnstiles. I've got a first edition... Um, there's literally a woman watching me vlog from the apartment building across. Um, I've got a first edition um, glass houses, but I don't have. Um, I want to get The Stranger. I want a first edition The Stranger because that The Stranger is my favourite album of all time. Like literally of all time ever. So that's my next um, conquest. But this, sorry if I'm holding the record long. I know that's actually horrible, but literally look at it. With the, with the fairy lights as well. It's such a nice colour. You can probably hear Billy Joel in the background as well, but... Can't wait till December when I can actually play it, yay! Also, obviously, the whole curtain thing didn't work, but... My room do be looking... Okay, well, it'll be looking blurry right now, Eve. Thank you for that. Um, it's not really picking up too well on camera, but it is looking so much cosier. And I really love how these turned out. They're not as warm as I would like them to be. But I really love the light that this gives off. It's literally so warm. Like, the whole room just feels a lot warmer. And, like, yeah. And you can also dim these, like, to your sort of will. <laughs> dim them to your will, you know what I mean? Right, I've just edited it out, me dimming them down. Because I don't want to flash you guys. Um, but, yeah, like, you can kind of change them to your... To, if you're, like, lying in bed and you don't want them to be that, like, intense. But, yeah, look at this bed. You're so beautiful. Yes, you are. That is literally one of the most gorgeous vinyls. My favourite vinyl ever is my Fine Line vinyl because I got the limited edition of that, but this, the colour is literally stunning. Thank you, Jesus, for this vinyl. OMG, I've never watched this movie before and they're playing Vienna by Billy Joel. 
I'm dead. I love this film so much. Not to be an absolute sad fat bee Joel, but I'm always a sad fat bee Joel, so I'm gonna continue to be a sad fat bee Joel. This song, if you've not listened to Vienna by Billy Joel, I'm gonna pause it actually. If you've not listened to Vienna, Vienna by Billy Joel, like you are you are contractually obligated to pause this video right now and to go and listen to it. If you're my age, it is I don't even care if you don't like Billy Joel, like you don't even need to like Billy Joel, but this song is like an anthem. A, it's one of the most beautiful songs ever. Just listen to the lyrics whenever I'm stressed, whenever I am upset, whenever I feel like I'm not in the place where I need to be in my life, which at the moment is all the time. Um, I just listen to Vienna and it sorts me right out. So go and listen to it and comment down below what you thought because it's probably the song that means the most to me in the world. Second means the second most to me, but still, it's literally beautiful. Can't believe it's in this movie. That's made me so happy. Good morning, everybody. It is now Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Um, I've just got up, had a shower. No, I had, didn't have a shower. That's an absolute lie. I had a bath. Um, and just sort of got ready. I dried my hair, um, which is why it's looking a little bit sort of flat. Um, but yeah, today I'm going into work, but I'm not going until noon today. I literally just got an email being like, can you come in at noon? And I'm like, I'm literally ready to go. Like I have got dressed. Anyway, I'll show you my outfit anyway. Um, so this top is, well, this is not really the best outfit in the world. I can't lie to you. I'm not really happy with it, but that's because the jeans are cream and I always hate myself in jeans that are light because I literally can't stop looking at my legs. But we're going to be honest on this channel, you know. Um, my jeans are from ASOS. They're like the reclaimed vintage ones, but I'm trying to love them, but I'm, I'm just not. Because they're lovely jeans, but they just I just feel like I've, I just can't stop staring at my thighs. But uh, my shoes are from Vajo again. Uh, belt is from oh, um, either Bershka or Pull and Bear. I want to say it's from Bershka. And my top is from Broke and Schoen. Um, it's actually a really nice top. It's really just easy to wear with like generally anything. Um, but yeah, this is the outfit for today. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and start this translation now since I don't have to be in until um, 11. I may as well get started and then commute a little bit later. So yeah. Baby, what you say can make or break my day. Baby, what you say. Make or break my day Yeah baby what you say Make or break my day Yeah baby what you say Make or break my day back my friend millie is coming over tonight um we went to school together and she's one of my really really good friends she literally lives just around the corner you guys saw her earlier this week in the vlog and we're gonna be making dinner together and then i think we're gonna go out because there's like a light festival going on um where like loads of the buildings are lit up and i missed the first one but there's a second one and so i want to go and see all the buildings lit up nice and pretty um so i think that's what we're gonna do tonight so i'm excited for that um but yeah, I've just got back and like tidied my room a little bit um, and the sun's already setting and it's literally like six o'clock. The winter is going to be rough because the clocks go forward in like two weeks and then it's going to be setting at f literally as I get out of work, so. Head chef herself. <laughs> in a perfect world, in a perfect world. Somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's the other one that <gasps> oh, wow. That is lit. That's so cool. So guys, it's basically German reunification day on, on Saturday. And so it's the 30 years until oh, since it, yeah it's been 30 years since Germany was finally reunited and it is thriving. We love we love a thriving Germany. 
We're, yeah, what? We're leaving. <laughs> we're leaving. Look at that. Oh, what a nice look. 30 years together and stronger than ever. Survive. Germans don't come for me in the comments if you don't like the reunification of Germany, okay? <laughs> like, I just mean in general. Okay, so we're going on a, what are they called? An Emmy. Because Millie was like, oh, well, we could get a scooter or we could get the bike. And I could tell in her eyes that she wanted the bike. But she can't open it, so I'm glad now, because that means I don't have to go on the bike. <laughs> We're on a bike. We love it. Absolute chaotic energy. <laughs> Eva is shitting I'm not hands. a fan. I've never been on a motorbike before, let alone it's in the middle a of a city. It's not a motorbike, it's a fucking Vespa. All right, okay, a Vespa then. <laughs> I'm so terrifying. <laughs> Baby, what you say can make or break my day. Good morning, everybody. So, I'm sorry I didn't vlog last night. Basically, me and Millie had a bit of a ball call, um, which is a story for another time, maybe never. It's nothing deep, deep, but it was just a time. Anyway, so I just went straight to bed when I got back, but I'm just about to go out now. Um, work doesn't start for another couple of hours, but I just feel the need to, like, I feel like I'd spend too much time just sitting in the apartment, so I'm gonna go and get a coffee um, at the coffee fellows down the road. I didn't know there was a coffee fellows down the road from my work. And Jade went there yesterday and it looked really nice. So I was like, well, it's literally down the road from my work. So that works perfectly. But I'll show you my outfit for today. I'm very boring, I'm afraid. Um, but it's basically this cardigan, which is from Pull and Bear. And I've got like a top from Zara on underneath just for extra layer. Um, and then my belt is from Zara and my jeans are also from Pull and Bear and same shoes as always. Um, so a pretty bog standard, boring outfit today, but I feel like it's just very like, I don't know, like it just kind of does the job for existing on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, why am I saying so long for this? Okay, anyway, goodbye. Baby, what you say can make or break my day. I'm in a very empty office right now, as you can see. Um, my two bosses have gone out for, for to get some food, and one of them actually bought us homemade scones, so they've gone out to get some jam. And I'm so excited because I'm not gonna lie, I didn't have a very good start to today. After that whole debacle yesterday, I was just feeling pretty fragile this morning, and then I had to go out and do like vox pops, like interview people about something, but people were just not in the mood today. And this one guy was actually quite horrible to me. And so I was literally there like on the street, having had nothing but a cappuccino. So I was already feeling quite fragile um, and a bit touchy. And I was literally just like, why am I so upset? But now it's fine. Um, it's now half past three, so I've got another hour and a half. And I'm just writing an events guide, absolutely riveting stuff. Um, and then I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna literally make some pasta for dinner, like um, just something really, really chill. Um, and then, yeah, I need to pop to the supermarket to just get some bits to tide me over for the weekend because the shops are all shut this weekend. But yeah, so that's basically the plan for today. And then I need to edit this vlog because it's going up on Saturday and it's currently Thursday, so. So for dinner, I've just made a sort of pasta arrabbiata, my own style, aka with like peppers in and some mushrooms, some spinach, everything that I kind of had left over. I did buy some mushrooms and spinach because I have eggs left over that I need to use this weekend. So I thought scrambled eggs and mushroom and spinach is always a vibe. Um, but yeah, this is two portions or maybe even three to be honest. I measured out two portions of pasta, but this looks more like a three person job. So I might put these in Tupperware tubs as per usual, and I can have that for lunch tomorrow. And all the shops are shut this weekend, so I'm sure I'm gonna need my freezer food at some point, so yeah. But this is a really, really quick, easy recipe. Like, it's literally just like chopped tomatoes, bit of tomato puree, if you fancy it, some basil, um, pasta, garlic, lots of chili flakes. This is super spicy, but you obviously don't need to put those in, and um, you're done. Dinner and, of course, the new Ellie Darby video. Oh, what a dream. <laughs> All right, lads. Um, back on this. This vlog must be about at least an hour and a half now. Um, but I'm now filming a podcast. Meridian. Meridian magazine, my magazine. 
we've had a bit of a we've had a bit of a everyone's just been very busy over the summer but we are starting a podcast and today we're we're gonna normally we have a different format plan for the normal episodes but because the american election debate was the first debate was yesterday we thought it would be nice to ease in by just having a little chat about the American election. So we're about to film the first podcast episode, which is really exciting. If you guys would like to uh, go listen, it'll probably be live. It won't be live when you watch this, but I'll try and remember to link the trailer down below so you can subscribe. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm sorry about the funky lighting as well, but it's my fairy light. It's called Circus and a political back and forth and how issues as if that are so pivotal to Americans' daily lives to literally shape their existence, you know, fall into the hands of people that are, you know, being chosen by different parties for different party political reasons. No podcast has just been filmed, I swear to God. I just felt so stupid, but I always do when I'm talking about American politics. Um, and I feel like I didn't really contribute much to the discussion, but the discussion was very interesting. So, I'm now going to edit this vlog. So this is going to be like meta stuff. Um, I probably actually won't vlog tomorrow, just so I can get this vlog uploaded actually. Um, because all I'm doing tomorrow is getting up, working from home, and then I'm going out for dinner with Maron, which I am so excited about, because she was the one I went to Hamburg with, and we always have a laugh. But yeah, so I think probably... Now is a good time to end the vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. I love these sorts of vlogs. I love chatty vlogs where I just chat pure rubbish for the whole thing. Um, so I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then be sure to give it a massive thumbs up. And um, and yeah, that's everything, that's everything I wanted to say. So I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye, guys.